Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of I'll Get It Next Time. I am back at Squirrel Lake Park trying to get some consistency here. So, last time I tried to get eight over on this 12 hole course <laughs> and um, did not get that. So today, that's the goal. Get eight over or better. I'm fine with better. And I feel like one of the main problems I had last time was I had too many choices um, where I tried to think, oh, this if I execute this perfectly, this is the best shot. But it was also a shot I'm not great at executing perfectly. So the, the thought is this time I brought my shoulder bag instead of my backpack um, to lessen the number of discs I can choose from, and hopefully that will uh, keep me from uh, making stupid decisions and really focus on what can I execute the best in this situation. So I'm just gonna introduce my bag real quick so you know what I'm throwing. So I got my main putter, my P2. So that will be what I'm putting with. Then I brought my glidey putter, this is the one that I hit that uh, eagle at Blair Mills with. Um, so that's my throw and putter. Um, mid ranges, I have my flex zone for approaches. Uh, then we got my buzz for straight shots that I need. Um, and we have my MX3, uh, a little more overstable mid range. And then we have the Rolo, understable as anything. <laughs> so this is for tricky wooded shots behind a bunch of trees. Um, just throw this on a line and it will just turn for days. And then only two drivers. So I have my Crave and my Thunderbird. Yeah, that's the lineup for today. So I'm going to attack the course, see if I can get um, eight over or better with these eight discs and see if it was just my decision making was holding me back, um, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. All right, for the first tee shot, MX3. decent. <sighs> Sorry everybody, um, I wasn't paying attention and my camera wasn't even on for my last approach shot. So this is my third throw from here for birdie. Um, it was a really good second shot. I had a really tough lie um, downhill behind a bunch of trees through my rollo worked out pretty well. This is a pretty good birdie putt. First putt of the day though. Oh no, that was way off. That, that was really bad. <laughs> All right, save par. Sorry you didn't get to see the second shot. I'll pay attention now. <laughs> Trying to get straight out there and hopefully have a good second a look for a second shot. Went straight. I think it kicked a root, which wasn't that helpful. Alright, really happy actually where my buzz got me. So you know what? Let's just do it again. Not good. Didn't get as close as I wanted to, 
but definitely a spot to get up and down from, get a par. Even through two, I think I was plus two after two, so doing better. Alright, we got a Mando on the left, the white sign. We gotta go to the right of it. Thunderbird forehand. Okay. I didn't realize until I got to this tee that the disc I usually throw off this tee, I didn't, I didn't miss the Mando, so no penalty. I'm gonna still throw it around it. Ah, it is a tight angle to get around this Mando, but it's stuff like this is the exact reason why I brought a roller. Don't know if you saw it. Wasn't amazing, but should be able to get up and down for bogey, hopefully. Hopefully I can make that putt. Just a bogey. Let's go. If you all watched the last two episodes playing uh, with people. Do you all like that? Would you like to see me play with more people? Or are you like, eh, these guys are annoying. Don't say that, don't tell me that. <laughs> take a six so risking a four here on that could just lead to a six so I'm gonna give it a soft bid hopefully I get it but if not then I can get a five up to four. Going with the forehand with the Thunderbird. I guess I was relying too much on it. Flip. And get down there. I don't get it. My camera keeps coming up unexpectedly. So you didn't see my second shot. But guess what? I'm still like a hundred feet off the tee. This is my third throw. So doing really good. Three. Okay. I don't want to use my mulligan already. But this hole's going so bad, I need, I need something, so I guess I'm using that. Alright, this is for bogey. Whew. 
triple bogey. Yay! Plus one through the first three, plus six through the first five. the video right now comment the percentage of chance you think I have of still hitting plus eight or better with seven holes left not bad it hit it had a tiny branch it just like hit the nose up for some somehow a little pinched off on the edge. I don't have a straight shot at it. Yeah. Roll low on the forehand. See how this goes. Hit another branch, and I think I just kicked it up and it just rolled straight to the left. Alright, good news is perfect zone throw. past if the zone would have just got past the tree it would have been pretty clear of oh, the okay. Hole seven, plus seven. It's been going really badly for me today, but this is what I usually do in this hole, Thunderbird forehand. Get past. Find it. <sighs> I know I play with only one mulligan, but that second throw I just did was exactly what I was trying to do. It's more fun. If anything, just put an asterisk next to it. Yay! Not an easy putt. But I nailed it. Okay, so if you watch my videos to watch me fail and just feel a lot of pain, sorry about that. But that felt good. So, tough. Hey, please. Long uphill look at birdie. It's really just hole one and eight that I have really any chance of birdie in. So, let's see if I can take advantage. why I put this in my bag. Straight and smooth is more important than powerful. Let's see if I remember. Straight and smooth. Smooth. Straight. Up your sway.
Why did I just juice that? Plus seven after nine. Three holes left. We got two strokes to play with. Wait, no, one, <laughs> one stroke to play with. On the three really tough holes. So, both bows. Straight and smooth, better than powerful. I tried to give it some Anheuser, that didn't work. That would have, it would have worked. This could go badly, but Rolo. Didn't look too bad until it hit that tree. I had a nickel for every time I said that. I'm gonna throw my creative and hopefully give it the right amount of Anheuser to push back or push past some of those trees, fade back towards the basket. This probably won't go well. But, you know what? It's gonna go really well. It's gonna be really cool. <laughs> Wasn't that cool. A good spot for a bogey. This is looking like a double. Hey, yeah. It slipped out of my hand so bad. I made it a lot further into the round before I missed my goal this time, so that's good. Improvement to some degree. Got a birdie. I mean, I'm not done. Maybe something cool will happen, but plus nine. Let's see if I can get plus 10 or under. Since my forehand has been on point today, might as well throw the forehand with the crave. Since my forehand's been on point all day, it's time for another one. Since my forehand's been on point all day, I'm gonna throw a backhand. Guys, can I have that, please? Is it okay? Since like three people watching, <laughs> are you three people okay with me playing that shot instead of those first two? Please, okay, thanks. off with nine over 
but I had a ton of fun. So, basically, I reached my goal. Um, but in all seriousness, I didn't get it. I was without several mulligans. I probably would have been like plus 12 or something. So, plus 8 still eludes me with just one mulligan. The smaller bag, I don't feel like helped me out all that much. So, good experiment. Didn't work. So, grateful Cam. Um, grateful for time off from school. It's been great. Uh, getting back into it next week. So, maybe by the time this comes out, I'll be back in school. But, grateful for the time off. And, um, yeah, bought a new used car. Um, so it's nice to have my own set of wheels again. So yeah, grateful to have a source of transportation that is my own and um, I don't need to ask for permission to use. So that's, that's really great. I'm super thankful for that. So yeah, what are you grateful for? Drop those in the comments below. But I had a ton of fun today, even though I didn't reach my goal. But you know what? You know what I'm going to say. You just know. I'll get it next time. That's what.